today we're doing some bass fishing down in Miami, Florida with Captain Jan Alvarez of Professional Hooker Fishing Trips. So check them out. We just caught a slob peacock bass on top water. Pretty awesome. We're gonna take some pictures with the fish real quick and then um, get back to fishing and catch some more fish. Pretty sure this is a female peacock bass. Probably close to a three pounder. But gorgeous fish. They're really, really popular down here in South Florida. They're all, they're all, full. the canals and lakes are full of peacock bass along with largemouth. But they're a great fighter. They put up a great fight. I think they fight better than largemouth bass. Yeah, they and um, they're just gorgeous, awesome to catch, and a lot of fun to release too. Releasing this fish, I just got poked by her spine. <laughs> so that's what I get for uh, taking a couple pictures with her real quick. But she wants to go, so I'm going to let her go right now. Swimmer towards you. No way! No way! That's insane! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Two of them, look! Awesome! <laughs> you were so right! You're like I, you, you told me on your last trip that you caught two. Wow! So crazy! So these two peacocks right here just had an awesome hit on top water. This is the Walking Boss Livingston Topwater Lure. And this color, it looks like a ghost shad color, blue with a silver on the side. And both of these peacock bass just destroyed this lure at the same time. Incredible. These are like twins. <laughs> There's a male and a female. <laughs> oh yeah. As a male and a female. Check it out. Male and a female, about the same size. Gorgeous fish, pretty cool that happened. I've never seen that happen on a lure. Two fish at once, pretty cool. Awesome. Releasing this double hookup so they can grow big and become monster peacock bass. What we're doing right now is we are back in the canals from the Blue Lagoon Lake that we were fishing earlier. And um, what we're doing is we're fishing the banks. We're fishing wherever there's structure, wherever there is rocks. And we're just basically working our bait parallel. So we'll cast it out on, along the bank and then we'll bring it back towards us. Um, so that way it's running parallel to the bank. And this is where peacock bass like to hang out. Um, and it's really fun catching peacock bass and artificials. Actually, all the peacock bass I've ever caught in the past were all um, live shiners. Um, so <laughs> Captain Yawn today is showing us how to do it with the artificials. And it's actually working. We're catching a ton of fish on top water. Had a bunch of hits. The fish just missed the hook. Um, and I just got this fish on top water. And like I said, we're using the big, big dog. The walking boss. We're using the Walking Boss Livingston Topwater Lure today, like I said. So um, that's what we're doing, and we're just working it all day long. It's the heat of the day right now, and this is what peacock bass love. So actually, this is a perfect time to go out and catch peacock bass. They like it when it gets warmed up, and um, they get more active, and that's when you get all the topwater bites. And I just got this at noon. Crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and release this fish, and uh, we're going to work our way back down the canal and catch some more big fish. All right, so I just caught another fish on top water, and um, I've just been practicing my technique all day long. It's a lot of it's a lot of work to uh, get the get the lure to properly walk the dog. So I've just been working on my technique and just casted out the bait. And this guy inhaled the lure; it was all the way in his mouth. Awesome little peacock. Did a bunch of jumps. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and release him. Hopefully, we can get a bigger fish. This guy's a little bit bigger, probably closer to one pound, but still a nice fish. And it's still a fish for me, so I'm happy. Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that was awesome. Nice one. Woohoo! Some one treble hook. Sweet. Okay. Thank you, monster. Awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Awesome! Nice fish. 
That's an awesome fish right there that I just caught all by myself. <laughs> awesome. It's just so incredible with topwater bites. It's just like the thrill you get from seeing a big fish explode on your bait. And um, just what happened, like, if you're trying to catch another fish, this fish came up and crushed the uh, topwater lure. And um, like four other times this fish missed my bait over and over again and just made a big boil on the surface and I got all excited and pulled the uh, lure out of its mouth too quick I guess um, but missed the hooks this one actually just got on the hooks the last trouble hook so awesome female I believe doesn't have a hump on its head probably a good two pounder so I'm gonna go try to catch oh my god there, there's cooling there <laughs> what, 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 what's going on right there there's cooling there's cooling, there's cooling. oh my gosh that's good, that's good. loaded with fish. All right, that's an awesome fish right here. They're getting a little bigger, so that's a good sign. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and release them. Gorgeous fish. This fish just hit a jig actually. A jig that is a color, a mixture of red with some white and some orange feathers on it. And uh, we've just been working it on the bottom. There's this bank right here and there's a bunch of peacock bass on it. This one we were using a little jig, trying to get it down deep. We used our top water on top and we didn't get the bites, so we switched to a jig. So we're using different methods today, but all artificials today catching peacock bass. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know one more time about the lures that we were using today so you guys can do it too if you want to catch peacock bass down here in South Florida. Uh, but basically what we did majority of the day was we used a top water lure like I've been saying and this is the Livingston Lures Walking Boss. And like I said, it's a top water lure. It's got the three trebles, got a little feather on the end here. And um, we're just walking the dog all day long with this lure. The cool thing about this lure is that it emits an EBS sound. And what EBS stands for is electronic bait fish sound. So you actually can see the electronics inside here. And the EBS sound lasts up to 300 hours in the water. So if we put this in the water, every four seconds it, it emits a bait fish sound and that's what attracts fish to it. It also has a rattle. So once the battery dies after 300 hours, which is actually a lot of fishing, you can still use this as a normal lure. You've got the rattle and the EBS just adds an extra feature to it and makes it a dynamite lure to use. I would highly recommend you guys check it out. I'll have it in the description below for you to check out this lure on their website. And also, if you want to go fishing here in South Florida or you want to go fishing in Okeechobee, you need to hit up and contact Captain Jan Alvarez of Professional Hooker Fishing Trips. He is a professional angler, bass fisherman. He's well known in the bass fisherman world. He's about to go on a big tournament. Is it the regionals? Yeah, the regionals. Regionals. He made the regionals, so very cool. He fishes Lake Okeechobee a lot, and I've done a Lake Okeechobee trip with him too, so you can check out that video as well. And um, we just did a peacock bass fishing here in South Florida. So if you're interested in doing some fishing, contact Captain Jan here, and he will hook you up. So that's that with the lure, and um, we're gonna wrap up our day, head back to the dock now. But we had an awesome day fishing, caught a lot of peacock bass, got a lot of strikes, it was a lot of fun. We almost caught a big like four pounder, but it didn't happen, but that's okay. Our next fishing trip it will. Uh, but if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, give it a like, and until the next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. Look at all the white caps, and you can just see way offshore, it's like crazy. Um, that's when we're gonna get the severe wind, rain and stuff, but we're, it looks like we're, it's going to miss us, like we're out of the cold now. So Also the squid team, I have a bright light in my face, um, but I'm outside and as you can see, it's very wet, it's raining, it's blowing.